Dragon Ball Super episode 42 review. I did not really like this episode for mainly one reason, and that's that Monaka being motivation for Goku is bullshit. Goku does not need Monaka as a motivator. It is a load of crap and a stupid excuse for them to have Monaka there and do all the comedy with him being super weak. And Monaka is annoying as a character. I don't like him. Monaka is boring. Monaka is just sitting there. His voice is so dull. He never does anything unless he's there for a comedic scene. And it wasn't very interesting. Also, I have a couple of questions for the people who made the episode and for you guys. Maybe you guys can explain it to me. How did Chastu use a force field attack to hold back Goku? How did Chastu hold back Goku? It doesn't make any sense. But apparently Chastu can hold back Goku, but Kr when Krillin using the Taioken or the Solar Flare to blind Goku, that makes sense because it's the Taioken. It's the Taioken. It's meant to blind people that are stronger than you. In fact, Krillin even used it on Namek a couple of times to save their acting when they were in over their head. Cell used it to save his act when he was in over his head. It's a commonly used technique when you're in over your head. But, I mean, the episode was a little funny. There were a couple of things that made me laugh. Like, at the end, that stuff with Yamcha, when he was like, Oh, no, the other Monaka! I was like, I laughed a little bit, but it wasn't too funny. In fact, I found this episode really boring. Some people may enjoy this episode. Some people may sit down to watch it, and they may love it. But that is you. I did not enjoy this episode, but Goku versus Beerus in the Monaco costume fight? I don't really understand how Goku can fight. Monaka or Beerus in his big form. I guess you could argue because they're just having a light bar. But by the end of it, you could tell Beerus was kind of trying. So that doesn't really make sense. I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys have an answer you can get to me. I also did not like that Jocko ordered food and how they all the food just so happened to arrive. When Viru during the party, I did not like that. And Monaka just so happened to be the one doing that delivery. I did not like that. I felt like it was a load of bullshit. In fact, if Monaka was so afraid of Goku and the other, he would probably have been like, oh, I don't want to go to Earth. Can somebody else do it? Did he can't. There's no way Monaka is the only delivery boy uh, in the universe. I don't like the Mr. Satan mascot thing. Because, yes, Mr. Nathan could lie to the people of Earth. So he would have to lie to them because there's no one saw Monaka fight. So he has to lie and make up a bullshit story now. And it's just really annoying. Yeah, most of the thing is that this is the kind of episode that you can sit back and ignore the logic of the episode not making sense. Ignore all the things that like about the characters that don't make sense, the way people are talking, the motivation, the ideas, the plot. If you can just put all that aside, you will enjoy this episode. But, as a reviewer, I have to be critical, and I would say this episode, the fight between Beerus, Beerus, Flash Monaka, and Goku was pretty good, so I would give this episode a 3 out. I don't know, maybe like a... Three out of five? Yeah, three out of five. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review with Dragon Ball Super episode 42. Please tell me your thoughts on the episode in the comment section down below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And above all else, guys, have a great day.